The Qajar dynasty was a Persian royal family that ruled Iran from 1785 to 1925. During their reign, the Qajar kings were known for their lavish lifestyle, which included having multiple wives in their harem. The number of wives that the Qajar king had varied depending on the king and the time period, but it is estimated that some kings had as many as a hundred wives. The harem was a secluded area of the place where the king's wives and concubine lived. It was heavily guarded and only accessible to the king and his trusted advisors. The harem was a symbol of the king's wealth and power, and having many wives was seen as a sign of prestige. The Qajar kings were allowed to have multiple wives according to the Islamic law, which allows men to have up to four wives if they can provide for them equally. However, the Qajar kings often exceeded this limit and had dozens or even hundreds of wives. This was made possible by their immense wealth and the fact that they had access to a large pool of potential wives. The wives in the harem were ranked according to their status and the position in the king's life. The highest ranking wife was known as Shahbanu or queen and she had the most power and influence in the harem. She was often chosen for her beauty, intelligence and political connection. The lower ranking wives were known as consorts or concubines and they had less influence and power in the harem. The wives in the harem were not allowed to leave the palace without the king's permission and they were heavily guarded to prevent them from escaping or having contact with the outside world. They were also required to follow strict rules and regulations such as covering their faces in public and not speaking to anyone outside of the harem. Despite the luxurious life that the wives in the harem enjoyed, their lives were not without hardship. They were often forced to compete with each other for the king's attention and affection, and the jealousy and rivalry were common. They were also subject to the whims of the king, and could be punished or even killed if they displaced him. The harem was a symbol of the Qajar king's power and wealth, but it was also a reflection of patriarchal society in which they lived. The wives in the harem were seen as objects to be possessed and controlled by the king, rather than as individuals with their own desires and aspirations. The harem was abolished by Reza Shah, the founder of the Pahlavi dynasty who sought to modernize Iran and break with the traditional past.